We wake up to the screams of our children asking us for food. They ask us for food night and day. It's a busy morning for Abu Mahmoud and his family. In the garage where they live, the women are cooking. These are pancakes made of animal feed. Here in Jabalia, they're lucky to find anything to eat. What my wife and daughters are cooking, we spent four days looking for this, just to get one kilo. My wife and I will not eat because it will all go to the children and grandchildren. I cannot eat when they are starving. For months now, northern Gaza has been all but cut off from humanitarian aid. Survival is a daily challenge. Two months ago, we were on the brink of a famine. Now we are in a real famine. You cannot find a kilo of flour or any food. And if you do, the prices are so expensive. This market might seem busy, but only at first glance. There are vendors, but barely any buyers. These are spices, nuts, tea, nothing substantial. This man is selling carrots and says they're affordable, but nobody's buying. Palestinians here have nothing left. I feel ashamed when I tell customers how much it costs. They look at me and laugh, asking if I'm serious. I'm no longer selling pumpkins or anything expensive. It's enough for me to sell lemons for 25 cents a kilo. We ate clovers and grass. Our children have died from starvation. We have run out of things to eat and we are starving. We have no money to buy anything. Everything is so expensive. What we used to buy for a dollar now costs 15. For these children and their families, a ceasefire is their final hope. At least then, it should be easier to move around Gaza, searching for food to make it through the day. Dmitry Medvedenko, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.